Hi everyone. Grab something to snuggle with. It's time for a bedtime story. Hello friends. Today we're going to talk about feelings. The good feelings and the not so good feelings. The ones that are bad, that make us sad, mad, scared. The ones that really just don't make us feel good at all. Those are the ones that we're going to talk about. And in order to do that, I brought a couple of really good stories for you today. And our first one is Ruby Finds a Worry. And this one is written by Tom Percival. I hope you enjoy it. Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. Do you like to swing? I do. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy. Until one day, she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. Do you think that will work? To pretend your worry isn't there? Does that work for you? It doesn't work for me. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Do you ever get so worried that you just feel like you can't do the things that you want her to do? I know that's happened to me before. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. 
The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like it would never feel happy again. Oh my goodness, look at that worry. It's huge. Did you ever have a worry that just grew and grew? Then one day something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. Sad. And then she noticed something else. Something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She started she asked the boy what was on his mind, and he told her the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it, and the words tumbled out. Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, They never hung around for long. Look how tiny that worry is now. When you get worried or scared or sad or mad, do you have someone that you talk to? Yeah, it could be a friend. It could be a parent or another relative, or a teacher, or a librarian, or any grown-up that you feel comfortable with. But whenever you have a worry, make sure you talk about it so that your worry can shrink too. Just like Ruby's. Now, time for another story. And this one is not about being worried. This one is more about knowing how strong and brave you are and how you are very special and important and that you are loved. I hope you enjoy this next story. It is I Am Enough. I Am Enough is written by Grace Byers and its pictures are done by Katura Bobo. I am enough. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Like the bird, I'm here to fly and soar high over everything.
like the trees, I'm here to grow, like the mountains, here to stand. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. Like the champ, I'm here to fight. Like the heart, I'm here to love. Like a ladder, here to climb. Like the air, to rise above. Like the wind, I'm here to push. Like a rope, I'm here to pull. Like the rain, I'm here to pour and drip and fall until I'm full. Like the moon, I'm here to dream. Like the student, here to learn. Like the water, here to swell. Like the fire, here to burn. Like the winner, I'm here to win. And if I don't, get up again. I know that I may cry sometimes, but even then, I'm here to try. I'm not meant to be like you. You're not meant to be like me. Sometimes we will get along and sometimes we will disagree. I know that when we don't look the same, our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame, but that does not dictate our worth. We both have places here on earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear. to help each other when it's tough, to say together, I am enough. And I hope that you know that that's true. You are enough. Until next time, remember, you are loved and you are enough. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.